Clinical death, remember Dr. Gil Gershon Tivon, what happens? Well, we know today, we know scientifically from many, many researchers like Professor Kubler-Ross in her 12 books or Professor Ian Stevenson in the state in his book 16 cases, 600 cases in Ceylon and many others that we have proven the existence of clinical death immaterial whether the death of that person is of any culture, gender, race, religion, age all people go through the same, the same experience, which is going through a certain tunnel, reaching to a certain kind of um, a bridge or a border where the soul has to give account to everything it, it did. It's been shown a videotape with dubbing and hearing and smelling and seeing exactly what were our intentions and what we we do during every single moment of our experience in this reincarnation and then the soul is giving a choice and a chance do you want to correct your actions come back here and live again in a corrected better way in a godly and divine ways as it says in the ten commandments as it says in the bible given to moses at mount sinai or does it want to pass through and go through and does not want or does not have the ability to fix whatever repair has to be done in this world where the most cardinal of things is first idol worship, bowing down to anything but the infinite unseeable God, in other words, any human being, any human being of any creation ever, we are not allowed to bow down to him. That is the second commandment of the, of the art of the Ten Commandments. Second thing is, is idol, idol worship. Second thing is idolatry, right? Of which married women, married men, etc. And sad thing, of course, is not to shed blood of any human being, whatever race, whatever it is, unless it's in a case of war, unless you are protecting yourself where the time, God forbid, comes. So we are able to correct our actions here and now. We don't have to go through this terrible experience, but rather it's better that we are aware of what we have to go through in the here and now, than face it and then many times it's irreversible. I'm inviting you to search through my books, through my website, and what I've written in the subject, and many other good and great scientists, as well as Bible people or Torah people that have researched the, the topic as it's given to us at Mount Sinai. You're welcome to come and search the topic and get more, become more knowledgeable about it. God bless you all.